So, hi guys. <laughs> I am completely voiceless. What? Sydney can just do it. You all understand? Uh, hi guys. Um my name is Makena. And uh one day she alone if I can make a short video talking about all things anxiety. Uh so me but say me as a subject. <laughs> so uh yeah. So mainly I have social anxiety. Social anxiety that is that started way back. Kitambo. So back in nursery, I pre even I was a pretty confident girl. Yeah, like music, arts, and I wasn't afraid to show what I had, you know, like music kind of go up. So, I don't go puberty hit, and I was so afraid to show myself how I to, because, you know, puberty didn't go my way. She's a bitch sometimes. <laughs> She's a bitch. Like, she was a bitch to me. Anyway. So, um, Nikanza Kwana, at a way before that, eh? I was under scrutiny for all the wrong reasons, all negative reasons, you know, I'd be judged based on my uh, my financial background, you know, family drama, all that. And then he put down a pata and what to put my own any book. And I put it as really home go quadris, you know, you talk to machine. You know, by the way, they should learn to mind their business. This older generation, I'm just saying, like, mind your business. So, same as a family, I want to, and it's not cool. Anyway, so, so my anxiety started from that. In that way, in the place, come on, like, I want to leave you, ski to little man and a man here and there. And then there's strangers, there's how they view you, the way you look. You know, I was, I've always been on the bigger side, you know, and that's not been taken very well by society. You know, the kings and queens of society, they always felt some type of way about my flaws. Which doesn't really make sense, but you know, kill him to not finish yak. I'm mad. But let me just say, back then I didn't think that way, and it led me to a road of depression. Like I was really depressed. I had anger issues. So when you have like anxiety, then anger issues, you yak, and other other issues. There's so much that's going on in your mind. Eh? So like out as a like with cope na life making decisions. Sorry. So um, fast forward. We go to Campo. So in Campo, I uh, I joined the band that's back in my room, and uh, we made a song that kind of went viral for a while. You know, got popular for a little while. You know, and that was awesome because uh, made music like this. You know, kidu kimoja. So people feel that if you don't meet the expectations, they feel some type of way. You know, and so they hold it against you. Okay. So to wezi fanya kitu na penda na amani, you know. So you go to a point where I stopped doing something which I loved. And that was, whew, that was a blow for me. Because music has always been like life. Kwangu, you know. So they felt some type of way that um, I'm not allowed to dream. Like my dreams don't match my background. They don't match what I look like at that particular moment. So they felt some type of way that I'm not supposed to be doing that. And I had that everywhere I went. So, no one sana. But I suddenly went silent. You know, that was not me. And then I stopped singing. Because like, who, who cares? No matter what you do, they've always had something shitty to say. So I remember I had started going uh, and that was around the time uh, I got my son. I think I had my background. I had my son, yeah. So I have to say that he helped me, you know, like not go down that particular path I was I was heading. And uh, hey, thank God for that, first of all. Yeah, but I can say like my anxiety ended there. No, like ilikuwa mo ben ilikuwa to the point ile mi kuamka kwenye shop. Hey, tafikiri ya kwanza yonje ya yote hawa tu wote wana nenga le wakse manini. Like it's bad. Kuna mtu like I love you. Situation yangu, but it was bad. It was really bad. Like my mom, I think at Like, like she understood. Like, okay, she, I think she thought I'm shy, but that went way beyond being shy because I'm not a shy person. Like, I'm not afraid to say my opinions. 
but in a group of people that you know kitu hatona ya kwanza ni vile niko because vile society inakuwa gosh eh eh dunia si ya manyonge eh people have answers have answers if you contradict what they think they are going to aim at they're going to jab at your little weaknesses okay i hope i'm not going like away from the top like i said i, I, I talk <laughs> so um as in if you want to as depression like when i say depression i'm not just saying that um like i went through it i couldn't leave the house you know i couldn't do normal things and when something a mental issue affects your way of life like your daily way of life no that's a big thing like, no, that's that's a huge issue that's a big thing you know like Eh, hey, any procedures, you know, and I had to, to fight my way through it all. Eh? So now let's get to the point now how I started them. Eh? I realize he left me angu. Na he left me mocha. Na get. Na at kama, you know, you believe in reincarnation, yeah? He let you come back in another life. You won't remember this life. You don't want to remember this life. This life is gone. If, you know, if that happens. He left me in that way. So, since the life is mine, eh? I will leave it however much to it. Now, now the biggest thing that I did is I understood that it is what it is, you know. And I'm not saying that come on, you know, the way we take it as a joke. No, life is as it is, you know. Sometimes you don't get what you want, you get what you get, which is in most times. And as I, I, I generally see how much money you have in your pocket. What you get is what you get, you know, because it is what it is. And once you accept your reality as it is, now you'll be able to like face your problems as they are, not how you wish they were. And even no meaning with Jambia. Sit in a book up here, someone meaning me. but uh, scriptures for Solomon, I don't know what. I came across it saying a while back. Um it says that beware of uh, your emotions because hence comes the problems of the world. Beware of your emotions because hence comes the problems of the world. No naga. Zwil ma penzi, zwi nani aliwa nani cause of love, zwem shkulia bibiake. Oh yali mkasirisha, oh zju yali fanyini. You know, like emotions, like our emotions really affect how we think. You know, sana. Because me being afraid of people's opinions of me really affected the way that I did my daily do my daily stuff. The way I did <laughs> my everyday life you know Shugli's everyday life really in effect you know um i couldn't keep relationships you know like friendship wise or otherwise um any really in effect like sana anyway moving on uh so i accepted that it is what it is and it doesn't matter how much i'd want it to be otherwise it's not going to be otherwise it is what it is and um, from there, you know, this is my life. I started, no matter what you do, by the way, people will always have something to say, whether negative or positive. Eh? And in my case, the way I viewed myself, eh, there's somebody that I look at and I see them as perfection. But, kuna kitu watu, kuna bila watu nataka ukue, kuna mtu wako hivyo, lakini bado wanapata kitu ya shiti, kitu ya ujinga ya kusema. So, wish life yako. Do whatever you want there, your choices. Eh? And uh, something else. I always expect people to say whatever they want because it's their right. It's their opinions. They don't like this about you, they are going to say it. You know, they like this about you, they're also going to say it. Because as in they life too, you know. Like you see actually other people's view of you affects how you view yourself. Eh, man. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't mind people. Don't mind people. Yeah. So basically, that's all. Yeah, I just I try to like put it in shorter words, <laughs> so it seemed kind of long, but in shorter words, yeah, yeah hoping that uh, it would help. You know, anybody who has like a similar thing.